Hi, hi fans, Randy Ingersoll here with another Play Hive Like a Champion video. I remember 10 years ago playing on board space against my mentor, Christian Sperling, also known as Eucalyx. At the time, I had never beaten him. In fact, I never even earned a draw against him. And I had a situation where I was sure that I was going to get at least a draw. I was so excited. And then, Bugswang. Of course, that word hadn't even been coined yet, but the great Christian Sperling, the great Eucalyx, taught me the meaning of that word. I had lost again. For those of you not familiar with the word, there's a German word, Zugzwang, which means, and please forgive me for my German pronunciation, it means forced move. It's used in the chess community in which a player is forced to make a move which worsens his position on the board. Of course, the German word Zugzwang very easily morphs into the hive word Bugzwang. So let's see Bugzwang in action. The game in this video has me playing black against Chulvessel on BGA. Interestingly, my opponent had never even considered a pronunciation of his nom de jeu, and so between the two of us we came up with the pronunciation Chulvessel. So let's get started. Playing without expansions, both players start with grasshoppers. Queens follow. As black, I choose a C opening. White spawns an ant, and I spawn a second defender. Note that because of the placement of the first white ant, the black grasshopper virtually forces it to move. Otherwise, it would be pinned in a kill spot against its own queen making a good choice to pin the grasshopper instead of attacking, white chooses the proper way to pin the grasshopper with a true pin as compared to a false pin. A black ant spawns and pins white at number two when it enters the game. Note there is a choice here for black, the inline pin or the elbow pin. The inline pin leaving this spot available as a spawn point or the elbow pin, removing that spot as a point, spawn point. The downside to the elbow pin is that when the grasshopper, currently defending the black queen, vacates the kill space, it cannot jump to here without the possibility of freeing this white ant here. I elect the inline pin. Note that the terms true pin and false pin, coined by jo Joe Schultz in his book, The Canon of Hive Groundwork, only applies when the pin is placed against a bug adjacent to the friendly queen. Hence, the pen by white ant 1 is a true pen, while the pen by black ant 1 is not. White ant number 3 spawns, and black spider spawns with the goal to perform a pen replacement. Because the black spider is not actually threatening to pen white ant number 3, White uses the tempo to bring in another attacker. After the spider moves, the white ant now is in danger of being pinned. So it moves and attacks. Now concerned about white getting a second defender, I do place an elbow pin on the white queen. The white spider attacks and black ant number three spawns. In retrospect, this spawn point here is not the best. When the white ant pins the black ant, the trigger spot here is now blocked. White gladly gives up an attacker to pin two black pieces. The placement of black spider number two allows white beetle number one to enter and get atop the hive. And the final black ant enters the game not allowing the second beetle to climb up. Black pins it. But here, which spot is better to pin the white beetle? Not thinking this through completely, I do not choose the better of the two spots. We will see why shortly. As the white beetle advances, the first black beetle enters. Not wanting my opponent to place a second defender, 
I allow the grasshopper to attack. At this point, I vacate with the grasshopper and the beetle is free. Now I regret the placement of the pin on the beetle. If I had placed here instead, the white beetle would not be free. White elects to cover my ant rather than to attack. By climbing atop the white queen, the beetle now allows a direct drop here and frees the black ant. The white queen is no longer a threat to escape. It's critical that I pin the white ant because if it attacks, the black grasshopper vacates a kill space and that the spot the black grasshopper vacated is now available for a direct drop. White attempts to bring in the grasshopper with an angle of attack to take the kill shot. But I have an ant to defend. White pins the only remaining black defender, but the black ant sacrifices itself to free the defending grasshopper. At this point, my opponent offered a draw because he does not understand the power of Bugswang. At this point, the white beetle is forced to fill the penultimate kill spot, freeing the black ant. The black beetle at this point cannot take the kill shot because that would result in a draw. Black is going to have to use Bugswang to win the game. The only two bugs that currently are mobile are the ant here and the grasshopper here. If either one of them move, black takes the kill shot and wins the game. Therefore, the white spider spawns. Black just wastes a turn because the white spider is going to have to move. When the white spider moves, the black ant pins it. And here it is, bug swing in action. One of the two white bugs is forced to move, and the black queen takes the kill shot. This game is a great example of bug swing used to win a game. Let's go back to move 48. Here at move 48, a critical point in the game allowed me to put bug swing into action. The black beetle must cover the white defending grasshopper. Otherwise, it will do what good defenders do and that is jump out at a critical point. Now let's go back to move 16. This was critical. Not allowing white to get a second defender. This compares the difference between having two defenders and having only one defender. It allowed Bugswang later in the game. Bugswang is an important tool in a Hive player's toolbox. Understanding the concept, knowing when to put it into play, and understanding the relationship between Bugswang and having good defenders is critical to your growth to become a Hive master. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to learn from it. May Bugswang bring you victories in the future. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll. Signing off.